here we have Rosa Arthur Bell and this is a yellow rose and the breeder is Sam Negridi of Northern Ireland and this variety is really quite popular in Ireland, England and Europe and it's a Florabunda rose, yellow and as it ages it goes more creamier and you know it's really good for the bees because it has unpinned stamens and it has the most beautiful fragrance oh my god it smells so lovely and you can either grow it as a climber like I do here or you can grow it as a shrub as well now when you buy it if it if you buy it as a um, rose shrub it's no different than the climber and the same goes if you buy it as a climber it's no different as a rose shrub so you can grow it either way um, as I say the fragrance is really beautiful let me have a smell oh my god it smells of old rose and a bit of fruitiness as well now when I sit over here I can smell this from over here when it um, when the fragrance just blows in the wind it's really 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 beautiful it has really nice um, glossy foliage you know the leaves and I would say the disease resistance was hmm, maybe out of ten maybe five um, I would give it um, a spray to um, prevent black spot and rose rust but I would definitely recommend this rose it is a real true beauty it's won numerous awards worldwide and I don't think I'd be without this rose in my garden it's a real nice splash of yellow and it just oh, on a sunny day I mean next to a blue backdrop just look how beautiful that is absolutely gorgeous isn't it lovely so yeah I highly recommend this rose for sure I wish you could smell the fragrance it smells insane and yeah if you if you're gonna grow it as a rose shrub I would cut it back maybe up to about just below knee height um, of winter and just to keep it quite um, short because it does grow quite big if you're going to grow it as a shrub it's going to be quite narrow and tall a narrow and tall shrub and you know it's really important to bend those canes if you are going to grow it as a climber because just look I've bent this cane and you get all of these lateral um, rose buds it just really encourages the plant to give so many more blooms and it's really really beautiful if you are looking for a climbing rose with minimal um, rose thorns this really is not the rose for you because as you can see it has a lot of thorns quite big and you know it wouldn't be ideal if if you have like young children and you'd be scared of them you know going next to the rose and getting caught so yeah no I wouldn't really recommend it for that and as a climber this will grow easily to about 10 foot 